Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the cow catcher for the train in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to start by creating a sketch. Uh, but in this time, instead of selecting this plane, we're actually going to select this one. All right, so we're going to start by drawing a line. Now, with the cow catcher, you have to use what's called a loft. So essentially what we do is we create two sketches and we loft them together. Uh, and so they make one, one object. So we're going to start by drawing the bottom of our cow catcher, which it tells us our width is 1.8. Then it tells us our sides are 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and click there. And then 0.25. Then I need to do a point, and I'm going to dimension that from here to here. It tells us our dimension is one inch. Now just connect the lines. And hit finish. Now we're left with that shape. Now we have to do a plane. So we're going to do a click plane. We're going to go to origin. And we're going to do an XZ plane click on the yellow circles and pull those up. Now we need to offset this plane the height of our cow catcher which it tells us is 0.75. And we're going to create a sketch. <clears throat> and now we're going to draw the top of our cow catcher. Now, it tells us the top of our cow catcher is 1.2 inches. Uh, the bottom was 1.8 so we obviously have to offset this. So 1.8 minus 1.2 leaves us with 0.6 and then you divide that in half and that gives us 0.3 so we're going to type in 0.3 and then we can draw our line to 1.2 and we're going to go up 0.25 up again 0.25 and again we need to do a point right in the middle dimension it and it tells us our dimension for that one is 0.75 connect the lines now hit finish <clears throat> now we need to go instead of extrude we need to hit loft which is in the create thing so we're going to select our two sketches and we're going to loft in between them. Hit OK. Take the visibility off of our work plane. And there is the basic shape of our cow catcher. Right, now we can go ahead and put these sketches in on the, uh, the front face. Let's go ahead and create a sketch. We're going to use offset. And then we'll dimension that tells us it's a typical of 0.1 and hit finish extrude that in 0.05 hit okay now do our sketch on the other side again we're going to do offset oops dimension this Point one, finish, extrude, point oh five. Now we'll go to the back and we'll do our sketches for our um, pegs. So we're going to start by doing uh, just a couple points to get it, you know, make it a little easier um, to know where to put our circles. So we're going to do dimension, and we're going to <clears throat> dimension this one from the edge, and it tells us it is 0.275, and then from here to here is 0.125. Now this is also going to be 0.125.
and we need to dimension from here to here and it tells us that is 1.25 now this one to here is 0.625 so we're good there now we need the height which is also 0.625 now we can go in and put in our circles and it tells us the diameter for our circles um, is 0.125. Okay, hit finish. Now we're going to extrude those. And it tells us we need to extrude those 0.125. And we can hit OK. Now we need to do our fillet, or I'm sorry, our chamfer. So do a chamfer. We're going to select the third option again, or the second option that gives us our angle there. All right, and our angle it tells us is 45 degrees. <clears throat> our chamfer distance is 0.01, and then we go in and select the face and the edge, and apply. Face and the edge, apply, face and the edge, and apply. Exit that. All right, now we've got the uh, pegs in with the chamfer. Now we need to do our shell. So up in where it says modify, we're going to select shell, select our faces. It tells us to make the, the uh, face point 0.1. hit OK and there we go we now have our cow catcher be sure and save it and you're ready to go on to the last part